welcome to the GFMHL Tonight Network. I'm your host Sad Romano. Let's get all of the hockey action from Tuesday's games. Billy Gardner's goal late in the third period broke a 5-5 tie to give the Nordiques the comeback win. Dan Lockery also chipped in with his first hat trick of his EFMHL career to spark the Nordiques who won for the second straight game. Chris Cahill and rookie Trevor McClellan each scored their first of the season. Tom Howe added three assists and goalie Brian Sani Kando stopped 24 of 29 shots to spoil outlaws Joe Hoffman's milestone night after reaching 100 points of his career. With the win, the Nordiques improved their 2-1 and, and are tied with the Aces for first in the league. 
They will be idle next week and will return on November 19th when they host the Wolf Pack at 8.30 p.m. Despite the loss, Outlaws Joe Hoffman accomplished the 100-point milestone after scoring his third goal of the night for his 100th point. John Ranieri and Chris Taylor pitched in with goals and Rob Madrug continued to pile up the assists with three. The Outlaws were 0 for 3 on the power play but managed a short-handed goal by Hoffman to tie the game 4 to 4. Forward Scott Dennison was out of the lineup with an injured ankle and is currently listed as day-to-day. The Outlaws will travel to the Mixed Sports Arena Tuesday night at 8.30 when they take on the Wolfpack. It will mark the first game between the two teams since the Madrug deal took place back in May. They score! They score! KJ Soas drew first goal of the season with 15 seconds left in regulation gave the Wolf Pack its first win of the season over the struggling Islanders. Greg Barkley scored two goals and Chris Levering added his first Wolf Pack goal in the 4-3 win. Forward Daddy Baldo pitched in with two assists and goalie Mike Mixit stopped 30 of 33 shots in the win. The team was without forward Tim Gramlich who was sidelined with upper body injury and could miss another week to 10 days. The Wolf Pack improved to 1-1 one and, one and will host former teammate Rob Madrick and his outlaws Tuesday night at 8.30 p.m. Dave Eckelmeyer notched his league-leading sixth goal and Tom Hansis added a goal and two assists on the night. Forward Tom McNicholas also joined the 100-point club with his assist in the first period. McNicholas who told a reporter after the game that he was glad to get the 100th point out of the way and focus on getting his team back in the winning column. McNicholas also scored his second goal of the season on the power play for the Islanders who dropped their third straight game and fell to 0-2-1. The Islanders will travel Tuesday night and take on Jeff Lafferty and the Aces at 7.15pm. 
Now let's take a look at our top performers of the night as well as league news and the chase to 100 for an Aces forward sponsored by Franklin Sports Bar.